Hey, hello everyone, I'm Afroluigi, welcome back to x Foundations, and we are continuing on. Now, looking at the invasions, <laughs> hold on. Come on, stop flickering. Oh, well, it's going to keep flickering. So, the Xenon have, rather than advancing in these areas here like we want them to, have decided to put down some defense platforms in Thurix Demise, as we can see here. They've put down a couple, three three, three stations in there. They've all, and they're, well, they're not doing anything in Thurix Ravine. And I think, yeah, they're also trying, they've been slowly trying to invade into Prophet Center Alpha. Wait, my travel's driving great? I think my travel drive's engaged. So yeah, the Xenon are not cooperating with their choices of invasion plans. So, we're going to um, flip a sector again. We're gonna, that's basically, I think, what this playthrough is going to do, is just flipping sectors for Xenon. As you can see here, my choice this time is Satigva's choice, because I figure the Xenon, I've been watching a bunch of Xenon ships traveling through the void through second contact. They're trying to travel through this little cluster here. So I think it's time to help the Xenon. Well, I'll fix one of the Xenon migratory routes. So we are going to attack Atigva. Make them, let them secure the system because they're losing a bunch of destroyers, uh, uh, K's and I's, on these defense platforms here. Uh, Oh god. Well, our shields are done. So we're going to have to be very careful here. Jump gate, Argon Prime. I kind of wish more of the jump gates were aligned, but that makes sense that they wouldn't be. Just to prevent what I'm just doing here, just blitzing across. Career Sentinel. But yeah, so the Xenon have been losing ship, capital ships, taking out, trying to take out these defense platforms. And we're going to help them. We're going to take out the, the Satigua defense platform, the Argon defense platform, the Argon trading station, and depending, and probably that Argon. We're going to take out the two hat defense platforms, the trading post, and we'll, of course, move on with the uh, Argon one. Well, we'll see what happens. We'll see if the Z we can help out the Xenon at all. Entering system, Argon Prime. Jump gate, Atikva's choice. That's probably a Ministry ship. I still haven't gotten my rep up with the Ministry. It's getting very close to risky. Although, has the Xenon get more territory that's going to make it easier on them to take out the Talati on their own? Entering system, Atikva's choice. Argon defense platform. Mark is hostile. We are going to war with Fatigva. Now this thing should be quite well armed because, well, Fatigva haven't don't really have a lot. They have a lot of trading partners and not a lot of actual threats. And it also looks like, if I was looking, also looking at it, the Xenon invasion logic also isn't doing anything. Like, if we go to uh, news, nothing from the Xenon in quite a while for me. Like, Etsufune, Holy Vision, Holy Vision. That, all very sensible stuff, but not what we want. Not tolerate your actions. Nope, oh, they're returning fire. How are my shields doing? Uh, my shields are doing fine.
Wait, what are they firing at? Oh, there's some Xenon fighters here to help. That's what those red streaks are. So yeah, the Xenon are definitely... Uh, because we just There's a P I think we just accidentally friendly fired. So Xenon are definitely trying to take this sector. And we're already down 20, they're already down to almost 20%. You know what, I think we'll take out the Argon Defense Station before we go for the Trading Station. I think we're a little out of range. Actually, no, we're not, because we're about to get close to that dock. And we got defense drones chasing us. Does it only have the one dock? Yeah, so if we can... Actually, no, the admin center has launch tubes. So even if we take out the dock, that's not going to stop the drone spawn. No, the Talati really likes us. We're mostly just trading with the Talati at this point to uh, terraform. We're gonna have an issue Explosion very in. soon with refined metals if we when we need if we need them for terraform projects. We might have to help this. Actually, if we take out the defense platforms, I don't think the Xenon level problem slowly whittling down this sector. Because mostly I just want, I want to spread out the Argon. I want to cr basically thin out their forces. And if I do that myself, the Xenon don't have, a, we don't have to worry about them. Oh, we're still a little far, we're getting a little far away again. Why can't, aren't we targeting anymore? There's that one turret fighting. Wait, do I have a turret set incorrectly? I do! Oh, that's not going to, uh, that's, that's going to be an issue. So let's, uh... Figure out what button is Arcan causing it. Platform. That's basically what's going on. Yeah, I've, I've gone over it before, but this glitch thing I'm go going is entirely because of the joystick. There. Oh, that poor Gar Argon defense station. I wonder if the Xenon are intentionally sending ships to follow me, because that was an interesting timing on their part that they sent a fighter squadron after this defense platform the moment I showed up. I, I really wish it wouldn't try to target things out of my range. Why are there two different colors of plasma turrets there? Oh, 
Oh, I wonder if one of those is a pulse turret. Oh, yeah, we can no longer dock at Station Glenn that belong into the Tigua Free League. And there we go. I think the rest of this will fall fairly quickly because it's just defense modules and a few connectors. Explosion imminent. Maybe I should start using it to declare war function. It'd be much more fair on the AI. But actually, is there any factions left I ha I am not at war with? Uh, Duke, God Realm, Queendom. Yeah, I think next time I go to war with someone, I will actually fully declare war. Eventually, we're gonna also have to take out the. Um, once we have a, a Xenon bordering Windfall, uh, Windfall, or I think it's Windfall, yeah, the sector's Windfall, uh, we'll declare war with the Vigor Syndicate and just strip them out. And we'll also go and bomb some Riptide defense platforms and set up, actually, we'll first set up our own admin modules, then we'll bomb some Riptide admin modules so we can claim complete control over the center. Five percent. I don't think Hatigva is going to be in any real shape to fight us. Oh yeah, we still got some uh, Argon fighters on our side, though. Got a little out of range. I don't think we need... Yeah, let's just align all our turrets and go at it. Because it doesn't have the range on us, and its drones are basically all gone. The reason, most, most of the reason I do the circling of the stations is to prevent the drones from just overwhelming my defenses and taking out things like engines and stuff like that. Explosion. Getting some a whole bunch of Argon Federation stuff. Oh, the poor defense station. I'm really not too concerned about this game anymore. We're basically st on the steamroll. The issue is making sure the Xenon don't lose ground. I don't think there's anyone in any fit shape to fight the Xenon, though. I think we've done well enough Explosion. crippling the economies. The only one who has a real shot at it is the Parent at this point. But they're fighting... Oh, they're already fighting on two fronts. They're, they're trying to chip away Duke's Awakening, but not making a very good... Uh, they're not doing too hot on that front. We'll go to the other side of the station, see if it's not dead by the time we get Explosion over there. Explosion imminent. Explosion imminent. Danger. Explosion imminent. You know what, I think it's time just to straight up target the next defense station we find. Explosion. 
explosion imminent. Because yeah, four percent, that's not worth hanging around for. So where is the next defense station? We have one dead ahead, that's a Xenon imminent. one though. Arkan defense platform. Explosion imminent. Alright, where is the nearest defense station? We have... Oh, they're both above us. That's... Oh, no, there's one below us. Is it not even fully completed Arkham yet? Defense platform. Oh, no, it's, it's fully outfitted. It just hasn't fully rendered yet. Well, we'll come in from above. The other ones will come in from below. I might want to help them with that food rations factory as well. Oh, that station's not doing so hot either. Oh, there's a attack going on over there. I want to get at enough of an angle that the admin module isn't blocking those can very those because there's this modules right next to it, and I want to be able to hit it without having to navigate around the admin module. I think that'll do. I kind of want to just try w watching and bombing, see if the defense drones are will not be an issue. That turret's targeting. What about the one near the back? The one near the back is right there. It is not currently firing, but it is now. Oh, that's too close, though. I think the Astrid docked will help. Let's make sure the Astrid settings are correct, though. Oh, yeah, it is. It's just... It started attacking. Well, this is going to be a quick one. Oh, it better not be missing that pier because it's targeting at the narrow spot. Oh, no, it's not. We're fine. Don't. Egos, I, that's my one complaint, I think, about the turret prioritizing is how they target. They need to prioritize defense modules first, then things like peers. Oh, is one of those turrets not quite hitting? Yeah, one of them's not quite hitting. So let's let's tank some turret fire. We haven't done that in a long time. Yeah, that's a little too much fire. We got way too many defense modules going at us now. There's a limit to the amount I'm willing to try and tank. <laughs> I was asked to drop my cargo. I was oh. asked to drop my cargo. Let's go to 18 billion and see if you will... Where you're going. Oh, it's it's going to be that guy right there in the center, isn't it? Yep. 
You can safely ignore that. Explosion imminent. Five point fifty nine per cent. I kind of want to just leave and kind of target the next admin module. At the same time, if we leave it like that, the Xenon won't be able to uh, do much. Oh, we still have Xenon trying to migrate their way. I wish the Talati would move into Scale Plate Green. They, they, I really wish they would. Because we're going to keep, we're going to lose a lot of Xenon uh, ships to their migration to Scale Plate Green. Wow, that's actually the most effective way because they just keep losing turrets from the shock waves because of how quickly modules are falling. Explosion imminent. Hey, did they lose more turrets over here? Oh no, they haven't lost the turrets on this one. But all this one's stripped, almost stripped of turrets. Maybe when the next admin module goes. Not, not admin module, twins module. There it goes. Losing more turrets now. Aw, oh, it's still launching drones. That's cute. Explosion imminent. You know, I think I want to go for the uh, trading, the the uh, trading station. On the other hand, we could save that for next time and make a whole thing out of it. See where the Xenon invade next. Explosion imminent. You know, I'm gonna cut here. I'll destroy the other defense platform and I'll cut back when I'm attacking the Antigua defense platform. All right, everyone. I've taken out the defense platforms. We're back, and we're going for the trading station. Um, I don't think it's gonna be a huge threat. It has what? Two defense platforms. Well, it has two. It has an admin module, two defense modules, and that's it. So this is not going to be any threat at all. Oh, and we're going to be helping a K. So we are going to target the. Um... Oh, come on. We're going to aim for the. Uh... Defense modules. Even if our turrets aren't, we are going to go for those defense modules. Oh, that one's shooting its plasma turrets. We need to take out that one because it's targeting the K. And of course, tar target priority is going for whatever that thing on the side there is. The K came in from an interesting direction. I figured the, the K would come in from Thurkus Cascade, but it looks like it's migrating over from the northwest. Hopefully we can save the K at least. Oh, maybe. Explosion imminent. Maybe if I target the turrets. No. Defense drone. Argon trading station. Oh, 
Oh, we're not even close enough to it to uh, do any damage. Please spare our lives. Come on, let's take out that defense platform. Oh, actually, I'm, I'm kind of aiming for the turrets. How's the key doing? It still has shields. Oh, there's a boron nearby. Now, if we can at least keep the K shields up, we'll be good. Explosion imminent. There we go. Explosion imminent. Is that going to take out their turrets? Nope. Maybe that will. Oh, did they have parented turrets on there? Those look like parented turrets. It looks like we've got, taken enough of the turrets so that the K shields are going up, not down. There we go. Okay, with the turrets taken out of the admin module, this sector, Hatikva, should be... Oh, it's not red yet. Oh, uh, I guess because the entire... Oh, maybe some of these modules, these strange modules, like this one here that we're targeting, right? The turrets targeting. Maybe those turrets act as uh, claims. Anyways, let's... Uh, that module there is in an awkward position. Our turrets can't hit it, so let's t target it ourselves. Looks like we're definitely gonna have to take out the entire thing, though. It's very rare I actually get to fight alongside a Xenon capital ship. But yeah, that one definitely came out of the jump gate. As you can see, also I turned off the map filter for, fil for faction colors because we really don't care what race a station. Along, so we just really care about wait. Oh, that's a xenon defense one. I thought it's gonna take me a while to get used to that because I'm used to the xenon. Oh, oh, okay. It's still the sectors still show his xenon or whatever. That's good at least. It's gonna take me a while to get used to the xenon stations being blue though. I might switch back. Four percent. It's still holding out, though. Has the sector ownership flipped yet? Have we taken out enough of these things modules? No. I wonder if the whole. St I'm just wondering if the whole station's gonna have to go down. That's probably what it's gonna end up being. We had great timing on this, though. Explosion imminent. I think this is a storage module. Actually, there's a way to find out. If we bring up the map, expand, storage modules. Okay, yeah, those are universal storages. Okay.
I wonder if the universal storages count. Alright, the universal storage is down. Did it count? Nope. Explosion imminent. But yeah, we're not going to be able to find out because the whole station is going to go down before we can uh, figure it out. So I won't be able to test if this pier, the special pier, counts as an admin module. I think we did more damage to the station to, than the Zane on the... Yeah, we're d overall I think we're doing more damage because it's not getting nearly as many shots off as we are. To be fair, those weapons do have a longer cooldown. Explosion imminent. We're at six. It's at sixteen percent. I want the sector to flip to Xenon. Come on, give me that. On the plus side, once we get, as we, the map gets smaller, there'll be less invasion areas. Although, I wonder what's going to start happening, because what's going to start happening, if we keep doing this, the Xenon are eventually going to start expanding, and they're going to control territory, but there's going to be too many hostile stations to them, and so they're going to start clearing out the, station, the stations, and that might actually let the other factions reclaim territory. Although I was wrong, I was thinking about it. I actually haven't taken out many Argon capital ships, so it's entirely possible the Argon can still put up a fighting, could can still put up a fight against the Xenon. And it's at seven percent. <laughs> oh, that was a good shot. I, uh, if I if I was quick enough, I'd have been able to get a screenshot of that uh, P. Come on, five percent. Is the Xenon P all that's left of the Xenon's fighters in this combat area? Yep, but it's Xenon S has joined the fight. Oh, there's a Boron laser tower there. That's gonna be fun. Explosion oh. imminent. That pier has no health left? Or it just, just does it not have a lot of health? Explosion imminent. I don't think those piers have a lot of health. I'm pretty sure no one's been targeting that pier. Ah, uh, that Talati ship was coming to trade with the trading station. <laughs> this one over here. Well, with the trading station down, it, Tigva, this sector should have flipped to Xenon, and it did. Nice. Oh, look, there's a miniature uh, builder crossing the sector. So, I wonder where the Xenon are going to invade next. They have lots of options. But that's going to be for the next episode, where we help them expand that way. I was going to say, oh, that's, okay, I need to try on faction colors. This is not helpful for me. There, because that was an unclaimed ship. So yeah, soon we'll figure out where uh, the Xenon are expanding to. I'll give it a bit. I'll see you guys in the next episode, where we will continue helping the Xenon flip sectors to their control. I might. Yeah, I think I'm going to go help with that Argon Food Factory off camera. Bye.